We got a reminder this week of just how devastating this virus is. 300,000 deaths in the U.S. Each of those is a person, someone with a family. Jamie Perez spoke with a woman who's handled some of those deaths from both sides, professionally and personally. So many days we don't feel like we're making any progress with these patients. We just see them declining and declining. Every day, Becky Studevant shows up and does her job despite the challenges. You're welcome. For her, it's personal. Bye can help out somebody else. That's what I want to do. Studevant is a respiratory therapist working in UW Health's COVID unit. She's seen the hardships and felt the pain the virus brings, but none of that could prepare her for what happened this summer. Just embodied what we should do in life and how we should treat others and always giving back. Becky's mother, Bonnie Gurner, was admitted to SSM Health on May 27th after testing positive for COVID-19. She died two weeks later on June 12th. I called the nurses almost every day and begged if I could bring my own N95, if I could come in there and see her, just to hold her hand. You know, she'd call and say how scared she was, and she tried to hide that a lot. Um, didn't want us to know how she was struggling. Um, but knowing that she was there alone for two weeks when she's such a social body and loves her family and her friends, you know, that was hard to know. For the last two weeks, her mom was alive. Becky never got to see her face to face. She returned to UW Health's COVID unit just two weeks later, continuing to help others fight the same virus that took her mom's life. There, she met a patient who would give her an opportunity to do the one thing she never got to do with her own mom. Totally reminded me of my mother. And so I just sat in there and held her hand <laughs> until she passed. Some days I try not to think about it, but I use my drive home to kind of just process it in my mind. So I'm there in the moment with my family. Becky continues to fight to save the lives of total strangers to help people the way her mom did too. This is where I need to be. This is what I need to do and help others. For News 3 Now, I'm Jamie Perez. Becky's story is one of far too many personal tales, but those stories are so important to share. Monday night at 7 o'clock, join us for our special report as we put more names to the devastating numbers.